So the main goal of the project is basically to determine whether or not uh, changes that take place during uh, normal aging trigger the onset of Parkinson's disease. So one of the things that I find fascinating about this disease is that, at least in the familiar form, the genetic changes that are uh, present at birth that lead to this disorder um, take years and years before the symptoms actually manifest. So one of the questions is why, and I guess one possibility is that um, there's a slow accumulation of damage over time. Another possibility is that there are changes that take place during normal aging that make the cells in the brain more susceptible to these genetic changes that were present from birth. So the hypothesis that I'm investigating is basically whether or not the changes that take place during normal aging um, trigger the onset of Parkinson's disease, and also if we delay these changes that take place during normal aging, whether or not there'll be a beneficial treatment for Parkinson's disease. So to assess this, I'm going to be using a model organism called C. elegans, which is basically a very, very small round worm, which is one millimeter in length. And in this organism, there's a number of genes that have been identified that have been shown to increase this organism's lifespan. And basically what my project will do is look at whether or not these genes that have been shown to increase lifespan will be beneficial in the treatment of worm models of Parkinson's disease. So the outcome of this work will be to get a better understanding of the underlying mechanisms of this disease and then the ultimate goal is to develop a treatment for Parkinson's. So if we can understand the mechanisms, then we can start to design mechanism-based treatments for these disorders. So, for example, if I find the gene that is um, shown to extend lifespan and is beneficial in Parkinson's disease, then this can become a therapeutic target around which future research can be based. Um, so the two things that my research will offer to Parkinson's patients is, one, a better understanding of the mechanisms underlying this disorder, and two, it will hopefully lead to a treatment for this disorder.